All right, step three. We are gonna start cracking the door open. We've already front loaded, desensitized to the movement towards the door, lock in, unlocking the door and jiggling the door handle. So the next step is to crack the door. Good job, Mister. Throw on a little name game real quick. Good job. Okay, open the door. I can close it. If your dog is super um, heightened to the door, you're going to want to open it, click, and then close it right away, so that they don't kind of uh, bolt. Great work. Cool. So he's doing really, really well here. So I'm going to open it and leave it open and feed him. He's uh, doing so well that I am feeding to his mouth. But if you're not sure if your dog will, you can feed to the ground. That helps facilitate them eventually going into a sit or a down. Because if you feed to the mouth and they're already excited, when they get the treat, they're going to look outside. They're going to want to move like that. Nice job. Good. And so he wants to move, so I'm going to start all over. This is, I'm glad this happened so you guys can see what to do if it doesn't work perfectly. I'm gonna front load this area a little bit more. That's just further reinforcing that the, um, the real reinforcement comes inside the house in that area. I'll start over with the door locking and unlocking. I'm gonna do three to five repetitions of all the basics. And then you're going to start with the challenge of cracking the door again. This gets them back into the mode of hanging out in the house is pretty cool. Okay, so now I'll crack the door. And you see him lift his head. He's pretty interested. So I'm feeding to the ground. Good job. I'm going to see if I can leave it open. And I'll click if he looks up and doesn't move forward. I will click for that. He looked up outside and I'm going to click for that. I'm clicking because he's remaining back there even when he looked outside. And that is step three. Okay.